So we need a number of new approaches, uh, and some of those uh, are coming out of what we're doing uh, in, with synthetic life. So with this, as I started to say a while ago, we're, we're going from what I view as an analog molecule, uh, DNA, uh, to digital information. And that's what we've been doing for the last 20 some odd years with all the great technology produced by applied biosystems and others, getting that accumulated digital information. Uh, obviously, we need to understand that information, and part of it is being able to go in the other direction. So if we can start with the digital information and reconstruct uh, living entities from it, it's the same kind of proof that we have in chemistry. Uh, once you determine the structure of the compound, if you can synthesize that compound uh, and show it has the right activities, uh, it, you know, that's, that's the final proof. We've really been lacking that in biology. We go on a lot of assumptions. Uh, so we, for the last 15 years, have been working on this digitization information. And we started with PhiX, uh, but just making the uh, oligos and putting them together and PCR enough, we can get molecules the right size, but even with a million to one selectivity of infection, uh, we got no viral particles. And that's because DNA synthesis uh, is a degenerative process, that's an N minus one situation, so the longer you make uh, the oligos, uh, the more errors uh, you get. So uh, Ham Smith and Clyde Hutchinson came up with some novel error correction uh, methods. And in this paper in 2003, we described going from the PHIX sequence in the computer uh, to making the PHIX genome. And the exciting phase came when we uh, injected that into E. coli uh, and uh, the E. coli read the DNA, produced proteins, and they self-assembled to make the PHIX uh, virus, uh, which showed its gratitude by turning around and killing the cells. Uh, so it's kind of like having graduate students and postdocs, um, uh, in, or, or working in the venture capital world. Um, 